What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Pokemon Go video now. If you guys saw my last video, um, posted it last week, I said in that video how I was looking to buy a new vlogging camera so I can go outside and catch Pokemon live for you guys basically. Um, I've brought a camera, I'm just waiting for it to come. Now I can't use the camera I'm recording with now because it's a massive brick and I can't walk around holding the brick trying to work shit, flick my fucking Pokeballs at Pokemon and stuff. So when that camera comes I will do uh, vlogs of me catching Pokemon in the wild. Now I thought I would do another Pokemon video in the meantime just to keep you guys informed of what's going on in my game and let's just move it out of the way. Now on my last video I was a level 12 and I've played a shit ton of this since then. I am now a level 19 so I thought I'd do a little Pokemon Go video showing you guys my various Pokemon, what I've caught, what I've hatched and then show you guys my epic Pokemon card collection which I did promise on my last video, um, which I'll show you guys at the end. Uh, but let me just see what's quickly nearby. Because it's pissing down here. Uh, but there's no water around me. But when it's raining, you get a lot of like Pokemon dropping out the sky, so it seems. And I think it's a seal there. Uh, but yes, I'll show you guys what I have caught. <clears throat> now, my rarest one, my most powerful one, is the Lapras right there, which I, I did hatch. Yes, I hatched that from a 10 kilometer egg, uh, but I have leveled it up a bit using that, um, what's it called, yeah, Stardust. So that's my most powerful. Not bad whatsoever. CP 1503, which I'm happy with. Starmie, I also hatched as well, I believe. Cafebo, I evolved. Uh, the rest of all have just evolved. Now, I have hatched a few and got terrible Pokemon out of. It's just ridiculous. Um, I got Onyx, not bad at all. I mean, he's rare. That's a lot of CP, but yeah, it's quite rare. And uh, what else have I got? And that's slow, bro. Oh, that's slow, bro. Well, it was me and my girlfriend went to a park. I think it was weekend. Um, a local park. My girlfriend, remember this, my girlfriend's about three levels lower than me. This slow, bro, popped up for both of us. Mine, come out of CP 34. Hers was CP 1036. How is that? How is that? Why do I get the shitty little CP34? I mean, like a CP, what is all that about? What is all that about? I mean, it's just ridiculous, that is. It really is. And I'm trying to think of what else I caught. And I know I've caught a couple of rare ones. Um, that, um, I'm an, I can't even pronounce that. I'm a Nanti, is that what that is? And you get that from a 10 kilometer egg as well. You would have saw that in my last video. Um, I'm still after a Pikachu. I can't find a Pikachu anywhere. I mean, like, it's just ridiculous. Eevee's. I am trying to catch four of. I need one more actually as well. If I catch one more, I can evolve one. Now I know you have to name them to evolve them into them certain evolutions. Um, where are my Eevees right now? There you go, I've got three. Not high levels to be honest. The CP467 will probably, I don't know what that will evolve into to be honest. But I don't know what you change. If you guys know the names of what you change them into, I mean, I haven't really looked on that. I could probably find them. But if you guys want to tell me, leave a comment down below in that comment section. I know it can evolve into Jolteon. Um, no, Umbreon's one of the other ones, isn't it? That's the black one. Um, Jolteon, Vaporeon, and. Uh, it's Flareon, is it? I can't remember. My Pokemon knowledge is. Because I've, I've, I've ignored this game for so many years. But this, this, this app's got me back into Pokemon. It really has. What eggs have I got hatching? I got. Have I not got um, an incubator? I'm sure I've got three. Yeah, I have. What the hell's going on there? So that's 2.7 kilometers of wasted on that egg. But as you can see, I've got a 10 kilometer egg right there and I've got a 5 kilometer egg right there. Uh, Beedrill, I, I evolved. What I do is to get a shit ton of XP. And this is probably um, the best way you can do it without all these hacks and glitches and shit that's going around. What you want to do is all these little ass Pokemon you're never going to use, like Pidgeys, Caterpies. Um, anything you can evolve basically, what you want to do is you just want to save as many as you can evolve. I mean, if you ain't really fussed about the evolutions of them as well and what they evolve into, save as many as you can evolve. I do like 15 at a time. And what I'll do is then, I will just pop one of the double XP eggs. I don't think I've actually got any now, to be honest. Now, I haven't actually got any, but I'll show you what they are. You guys should not already know, to be honest. Let me see if you can buy them. These lucky eggs, I pop a lucky egg. And then I'll just evolve absolutely everything. But I do this where there's enough because there's a city centre in Birmingham. There's a place called, we call it Pigeon Park, where there's literally 10 poker stops in a space of 400 square foot, probably a bit more. 
And you can literally walk around in circles and keep popping these Pokestops. All of them have got the lures on them. Um, enough people are sitting in there catching Pokemon. Um, and I will just pop my double XP there and I'll just walk around in circles and you get so much XP. And then you evolve 10 to 15 Pokemon. You get so much XP, it's unbelievable. And especially if Pokemon you evolve and you haven't already got them in the Pokedex, you get so much XP for that. It's unbelievable. And that's how I got up in such a high level because me and my girlfriend play it basically the same. In, in fact, actually, she probably plays it a bit more. But well, I save all my Pokemon to evolve, and it works, it really does. It's just a great way of getting um, XP. Now, when my vlogging camera does come, I should be around a level 20, 22, um, hopefully. Um, the weather stays good. I mean, at the minute, it's absolutely pissing down. I plan to go out today with my daughter because it's like seven weeks holidays here for kids in the UK. So I plan to go out with my daughter, and as humid and as hot as it is, it's pissing down. And I've just had some pop up, what's that? A PG. I mean, like, I just. Do I need it? Not really, these little fuckers. Badonk! Zubats, I hate. Zubats are everywhere, but they're little fuckers, they're so hard to catch. They're just dodging avoid absolutely. I knew he was gonna do that. Waiting for my Pokeballs and this little fucking thing. We have Zubats and Ratatas all around here, but the little bastards just, just. I'm sure they're there to make you waste your Pokeballs. And the incense as well to me, they don't work that good. Whenever I pop an incense, I always get shitty ass Pokemon spoiling up my feet. Saying that, saying that. What a minute. Oh, that fucking seal's quite close. Um, saying that, I did pop an incense when I was at the park where I caught that slow bro last week, or the weekend, and I caught this bad boy. Where is he? Should be at the bottom actually if I put it in alphabetical order. There. This beast. I caught a water totally totally spawned at my feet. I'm like, no way! And it took me so long to catch, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I went, um, day before, day before yesterday? Could have been, it was Monday today, Thursday. I think it could have been Monday. Um, I went to a park with my daughter as well, while my girlfriend's at work. And it popped up on my screen that there was Hitman Chan. And there's like three of them on my screen, like nearby. And I walked around for literally about an hour. Looking for these fucking three, they disappear off my screen, then come back on. I actually recorded a little bit of footage of me capturing it, which I'll show you guys on screen now. Actually, first I'll show you the park. Um, this was the first part of the park, it went it's absolutely humongous. Uh, but I was walking around it for ages, and I'll show you the actual battle where I caught him. But he's actually quite a rare Pokemon, considering um, a lot of people are after it. Uh, you can see on screen now me fighting a little bastard and capturing a little bastard. Um, where is it? I can't remember what CP is, well you guys are watching that. Let me see what's I've forgotten there. CP422. That's what he is. Yeah, so it's not it's not not great. I mean I just want to move from a Pokedex to be honest. The rare, the, the strong ones, the high powered ones will come as they come. So I ain't really fussed about capturing the rarest Pokemon at the highest level. I mean yes sure, if they drop at a high level, I'd be happy to catch that shit, my fuck it. But yeah, and what else have I hatched? Because I've hatched so many eggs. Um I'm sure I just saw one there. The pony, sir. That's actually quite a high level as well. 662. Want to evolve that into a rapid dash? That's going to be a great Pokemon. I hatched that as well. So, yes, happy with that. What else? I hatched that. No, the Seeking, I think I caught. The 719, I think I caught that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. The Slowpoke. Let's see, about 40 more candies. It's going to be so long if I can evolve him. Um, Jigglypuff, Hunter. Um, I'll try to throw off that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I evolved my last thing here. That's what I did. So, like I said, I'll just save all the Pokemon that can evolve. I'll save them all. I'll favourite them. So, what I'll do is I'll click on it. Favourite it. Another one I can evolve. I'll click on it. This is demonstration purposes. Obviously, can't evolve these. So, I'll click on it. Favourite it. Make sure I know that I'm going to evolve them. And then i just. Then, when it comes to evolving them, I'll just put them in order of um, favourites. Just click evolve. Back out, click evolve, back out, click evolve, back out, and you get so much XP, it's unbelievable. But yeah, um, that's basically what I've got so far at level 19. I mean, like, I ain't got the highest level Pokemon. There's a kid by me who knows I do YouTube, who runs up to me every day. He's, he's like, I think he's like a level 18, but he's got Gyarados, he's got so many sick Pokemon. But like, it's just, my RNG in this game is worse than what it is on Destiny, it really is. Now, that seal is, I think that's a seal, is that a seal? I can't think of its fucking name now. I've got a bastard already. And that's what they need to fix that shit, man. They need to fix the footsteps. I'm walking around in circles and footsteps ain't changing for shit. 
footsteps ain't changing for shit. But yes, guys, um, that's basically an update on my Pokemon Go. Let me see the Pokedex, actually. I've seen 74, quarter 77. Um, I haven't seen the Abbey one, actually. Have I seen these? I, to be honest, I ain't got a clue. But I've seen what I ain't seen. It's just crazy. But yes, guys, um, that's basically an update on my 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 Pokemon Go. And what I've done so far, like I said, vlog camera should come soon, hopefully anyway. And uh, what I'll do now, guys, is I will pause this video and I'll get my Pokemon cards out and show you guys exactly what I got. Uh, I think you might be impressed. Um, but yes, catch you guys back in a second. Okay, guys, so here's my Pokemon card collection. Something I went wild on quite, probably about five or six years ago. I thought, yeah, I got a little bit of extra money. Why not just invest them in something pretty badass? And to me, Pokemon cards are pretty damn badass. Now, where's the camera on this thing? It's on this side, because... Awkward holding my fucking phone because I'm using my phone for this. Um, yes, but I'll open it up and show you guys what I've got. Now, you can see on my first page, I've got all my uh, Charizards. Um, all of these are in pristine condition. I mean, like, they've come in them solid plastic case and I've just left them in there and put them into this folder. I haven't moved them, haven't touched them. Charizard EX there, that was quite a rare one at the time I bought it. I'm not sure how rare it is now. Blaine's Charizard there. Don't know what that one is, I saw it, I thought, yes, I'm having it. We've got this one here, which is a new version of the old school one. Which is like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. And I've got this one here, Charizard X, another Charizard there, another Charizard there. I mean, like, I ain't got a clue. I mean, like, I just bought them because I bought, I knew they were, Charizard was a badass Pokemon. A Japanese one here, I think that was a Team Rocket uh, collection. Um... Another one there, I'm not sure that's a gym one, but I'm not sure. A lot of this shit's changed since I remember Pokemon cards. But when I started collecting these cards back 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 in there when I was like um fifteen or something, um there was like only like two base sets, there's jungle set, no three, there's fossil jungle and the standard base set. Now these shining ones I heard were pretty rare, so I tried to collect them all. Got Shining Charizard, I think that's a Japanese shining Mew, but I'm not certain. Shining Mewtwo, um we've got Shining Oryx, Shining Celebi, I think that's Celebi, Celebi, Shining Raichu, Kibutops, Badass, Magikarp and Gyarados, now is that first edition? Yeah it's the first edition, I know the first edition ones are a bit more expensive. And um, we've got another Shining Magikarp which isn't the first edition, and Shining Noctowl, is that Noctowl? Yeah I think it is, and Noctowl, the fuck knows. Here we've got all my, oh, I know I didn't keep them in order. Of like their base sets 1 to 155. I just cut them in like Pokemon order. So here's Mewtwo's. I mean like, like I said I ain't got a clue. I just I just typed in Pokemon. Mewtwo card. Perfect condition. The pop up I buy it. And a lot of these. Some of these cards I spent like over 100 pound on. I think the Charizard EX one at the front. I think I spent like 80 quid on that. I know I've got one that's really rare. You know like you got gym leaders back in the day. Um, and it's like. I can't remember the certain names, but there's Blaine's, there was um, a few others. I got Ash's Pikachu, and it's in here somewhere. Yeah, I got Ash's Pikachu. I heard it was super, super rare, and I searched for months for it, and actually got it in the end. Like, all of these are in perfect condition, there's not a mark on them. I remember this, this one, I think this one came out with the movie, or oh, not long after the movie, the first one. Mew vs Mewtwo, I can't remember what it was called, but it was badass. Dragon Knights, see a lot of these now, I just don't, see these all, like new, like I only remember like the first 250, after that, I lost count, I lost track and I stopped playing Pokemon, all these shining surfing Pikachus and shit, I mean like crazy stuff, and I got some error cards as well, like, I can't remember what the errors are now, but when I brought them at the time, the error cards, there it is, that's Ash's Pikachu, that one is super super rare, so I was told, so I just thought, yep, yeah, I'm having that bad boy. I can't remember how much I paid for that, but I know it was a lot of money. Happy birthday, Pikachu, shining and non-shining. Both of them are shining, actually. One of them's got, like, a weird mark on it. But I'm not sure what that means. Um, I think these two are error cards. I'm not sure why or what. And I got this one here. Which I was told was something to do with a kid had made it, and they had actually officially printed it. But this is a real card, it's a real Pokemon card, but I'm not sure about the story behind it at all. Pikachu's, I just got so much shit. I got so many. Unbelievable. And this folder is just completely full. 
I mean, like, I ain't gonna go through slowly through every single one, but like, you guys will get the gist. <clears throat> Got a bit of a cold. Gyarados, Misty's Gyarados. Um, can't remember what, is his name Giovanni. I think it was Giovanni. Look at that Gyarados there. Some badass looking one. I mean, like I said, I just, I just bought so many. Like, see if you can get see that. That focuses. Electro Buzz. I was driving the other day and he pops up on my Pokemon. Can I have my Pokemon Go app open when I'm driving so I can like clock up them kilometers when I'm going under 20 miles an hour? I think it's under 20 miles an hour it clocks up. And it actually works quite well. And one of these popped up on the screen like it was nearby. I just couldn't stop to try and catch it. And I was screwing. It's the only time I've actually seen one pop up. I haven't caught up Electro Buzz yet. Flareon. That's the one. Flareon, Jolteon, Espeon. But these are the new ones, I think, or the newest ones. Vile Plume. See a lot of these now like oh, with Machamp, badass. Remember that that was old school. That Machamp was old school. I think it only came in first edition. I think it was rare really not first edition. So many. I actually love getting these out and having a look at them once in a while. Just reminds me of them good old Pokemon card collection days. A little laptop. Is that Lapdos? La Lugia, sorry. Zapdos is another bird, isn't it? Oh yeah, here we go, there's Zapdos. Moltres, Articuno is it? Articuno? I'm not even sure, I can't even remember. Lugia, I know Lugia was pretty rare. Hoo-ho, or Ho-Hoo, or Ho-Ho, or Hoo-Hoo, or whatever. So many. I mean, like, it's just got, this world is just countless, countless um, cards. What was that one there in the top corner? I don't even know. Like I said, and another thing as well is I'd buy other people's collections. They got like a mum, uh, an eBay fan, like his uh, son's Pokemon card collection, selling it for ten pound. You buy the whole thing, and you, 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 there's some rare ones in there, some real rare ones in there. Now, a lot of these are just going crazy, man. <laughs> Pokemon, I don't even know that one coming out there. Put that in. Now, after this video, and after I've recorded this. Don't know what the hell that is. Um, I'll put this away for another few years and want to get it back out. But this is only like one folder. I've got a box full of like all the like basic and common ones upstairs. And these are a couple of spares here I've got as well, which I think are pretty rare. But yeah, that is basically my Articuno. Woo! I was right, or was I? Articuno, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not even sure. What the hell is all this? I don't even know. Let me get these out. Shit, I can't remember getting that. That's a big ass card. I remember this as well, there's a Pokemon card in there which is unopened. Um, these were, there's a set of them. They're actually in my folder, but I've kept them there just in case. I can't remember anything about the story behind it. What's that there? I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. But they're there for good reason, so they stay there. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. But that is my guys. That is my Pokemon card collection. Um, let me just put that so it don't fucking fold. There we go. But yes, guys, that is my Pokemon card collection. Um, tell me what you think about it. Let me know down below in that comment section what you do think about this card collection. I think it's pretty damn epic. Well, obviously I would, but yes. Super, super rare ones in there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, as soon as I get my vlogging camera, I will do plenty of live. Well, obviously it's going to be live because they vlogs, but vlogs me. Running around parks, catching them rare Pokemon for you guys, but stay tuned for them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.